Crunchy ice crystals are annoying on ice cream and other frozen foods, but they're a major problem when it comes to freezing the living cells used in many medical advances. To solve that, University of Alberta researchers studied nature, trees, frogs, and fish in winter. The fish actually live in an environment where their body fluids should freeze because it's below zero, uh, but they don't, and that's because they have these ice blockers or ice in in inhibitors. Dr. Jason Acker's team has created a synthetic version of those molecules in a powder that minimizes ice formation around cells during cryogenic freezing. So it really is a, a roadblock uh, in some ways to the movement of water to that growing ice crystal and as a result those crystals stay small. Right now, blood cells can survive about 40 days in a fridge. With the new tech, these have been living for three months in a freezer. The goal is five months. They can also be frozen into blood droplets for quick thawing. The powder also has huge potential for cryopreserving organs and tissues. With cryopreservation, we could literally have a library of potential organs. Transplant surgeon Diane Nagendran says organs can only survive on ice for about eight hours. Not much time to get them to a matching recipient, plus arrange operating rooms. He says logistics are a daily challenge for transplant teams. Ideally, they could have a freezer full of organs to use as needed. These types of technologies may allow us to use more donors more effectively which makes those potential gifts of life all the more uh, valuable. Dr. Acker's team has been testing their invention on rat lungs, freezing then reviving them on a machine. They're also cryopreserving fish embryos to help improve human infertility tech. Other possibilities include cancer therapies, food transport, even saving endangered species. Five years ago, I would have said that organ preservation was, was a science fiction dream. I think uh, now we're at the cusp of really seeing the breakthroughs that this technology, as well as others, are going to enable.